What's going on everybody? I want to start off by saying sorry guys I haven't uploaded in a few days. It's the holidays so times are crazy so I just haven't really had time to get uh, a video going. Uh, update on the giveaway. So far it's doing really good. We got like 500 entries. I'm really excited. Just a reminder guys, Christmas Day I will be releasing the video where I announce the winner and then I'll be shipping it out either that day or the next. Um, so hopefully the winner gets that stuff quick. Depending on where they're at, it obviously could take longer. Um, but anyways guys, let's focus on this video that we have here today. This one's a really cool one because we are going to be opening up some Dollar General products. First things first, we were able to get our hands on the Blissey 10. Now what this contains is of course that Blissey promo card along with 10 Pokemon TCG mini booster packs. Also we have four little mini booster packs from the Sword and Shield. Um, I also um, have this in the giveaway as you guys probably saw. I got five of those included so we'll be opening up four of these. On the channel today and I think this is my favorite product right here um, this is kind of like a dollar general blister pack comes with two mini packs now what's cool about this is it comes with an extra card that has a one in three thousand chance of being a base card um, from the it says original chase cards I'm assuming that means like base cards I could be wrong and then a one in 25 chance of a foil or a rare and then a one in six chance of a special promo card obviously now the question is, is this really worth it? Now these mini booster packs are a dollar. This blister pack is $3. So you're basically paying a whole extra dollar for that chance of that, of that chase card. Is it worth it? Probably not, but it's so much fun to open up. And let's be honest guys, the, uh, lately Pokemon opening has become a kind of a form of gambling. We all are just chasing cards. Guys, let's open these up. So I think I'm gonna start with, let's just get these um, single mini packs out of the way. Um, so move that over there, move over there. And here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and just open up the first one. These are a little trickier to open because there's only three cards, so you don't want to kind of spoil it just from the, just from opening it up right away. So usually, what I do is I'll start once I get it cracked. Uh, once I kind of open it, I'll just flip it over and just kind of open it this way and get the cards right out. Of course, with this card trick, it is one to the front. And here we go, guys. We got Lumberry. Roselia and a reverse hollow uncommon. It's actually not bad considering the pull rates on these packs. So we'll just, you know what, since we're doing mini packs, we're gonna put any kind of foil to the side as a pool. So we'll put that right there, move these to the side, and now we're on pack number dos. Here we go. Okay, split it open, flip it. Oh gosh. I try to do it this way, but sometimes it doesn't cooperate, but it's worth it because, you know, with there only being three cards, you could spoil it instantly. And what fun is that, right? Steel energy. They should at least not put energy cards in these. I mean, come on. There's three cards. Grookey and Cuffint. All right. Nothing crazy there. Moving on to pack number three. Pop. Flip. So you guys don't come with my own thing. And tear. Pop, flip, and tear, guys. Pop, flip, and tear. That is the new, like, phrase for these mini packs. All right, one to the front. And here we go. We got a Galarian Stunfisk, a Sinistee, and there we go, guys. We got a Hollow Gengar. That is a good-looking card. I think I actually have this one, but I'll have to check. But, man, that that is a cool-looking card. See, guys, uh, pulling a Hollow Rare in one of these mini packs is beyond cool it's because it's not easy to do all right guys final mini pack of the single packs i'm hoping we can get at least one like you know good card out of all of these products you know like one gx or ex or v whatever that all they have out all right one to the front and wow what are the odds of getting another galarian stunfish right off the bat diglet and Reverse Hollow Common. Again, guys, I consider that a pull in these packs. The single packs are done. Which one do we want to do next? You know what? Let's go ahead and just open up this bad boy because this is the one I'm really excited for, guys. So we need to see if we are part of the lucky few that actually get that base card, where it is. So I'm going to kind of just open these, this up. Ah, mess it up instantly. I thought it was going to be flipped the other way. All right, I mean... That's your card. That's how it goes, guys. Sometimes that's how it be. Messed up. It is a rare, though. So that's kind of cool. Two Sun and Moon Guardian Rising, guys. So we know it's flip. 
Oh my gosh, this one just... Oh wait. Oh yeah. I messed it up. It was pop, flip, pull. So you guys, I can't even get my own catchphrase right. Alright guys, code card. Just kidding. It's like a code card without the code. Whatever. Alright, one to the front. We got multi-switch. Pat rat. <gasps> and there we go guys. We just pulled the Sylveon on GX. Look how beautiful this card is. See, that's what I'm saying, guys. These dollar, these dollar general packs, you just never know what you're going to find. Tell me this card isn't absolutely beautiful. Oh, my goodness. See, guys, that's that's amazing. Yeah, think about it. You buy one of these, like, $3 packs and you pull that, that's... What more could you ask for? All right, guys, so, so far, the Guardians Rising, this guy is off to a great start. God, look at that card. That is just a good-looking card. All right, guys, so remember, it's... Pop, pop, flip, and pull. I'm butchering this thing. All right, another code card without the code. One to the front. And here we go. Wimmiscott, Wimmiscott, Trubbish. And a, another holo. Wait, we have we gotten a reverse holo rare? No, this is our first reverse holo rare. But look at that. That is a good looking card. Man, we've got, you know what? We're doing pretty, we're actually doing really well in these dollar packs because, I mean, the pull rates on these, I've opened up quite a bit of these dollar packs, like off channel, like off video, and never do I really pull anything. So, all right, guys, now we're pulling, now we're heading up into this mini tin. Everything about this tin is just mini, you know? The tin itself is smaller. The promo card is obviously a little bit less. You know, you're not getting like any kind of like GX or like any kind of V card or anything like that, but... You are getting a pretty cool Hollow Blissey. And I don't know if this this specific promo card is like exclusive to these Dollar General packs, the tins. Probably, I would think so. So I guess it's kind of cool that you have this card that you have to get through these. All right, guys, so we'll start off with that promo card. Very nice. All right, we'll put that right there. So we got the Pokemon TCG code. That one actually has a code, so enjoy that one, guys. And of course, we've got the packs. Now, the packs in here, are, I'm pretty sure, are random. So let's see what we got. We got Sun and Moon Team Up. Sun and Moon Team Up. Team Up. X and Y Breakpoint. Another X and Y Breakpoint. Another X and Y Breakpoint. Another X and Y Breakpoint. X and Y Steam Siege. X and Y Steam Siege. Fates Collide. And Ancient Origins. Man, this brings me back to when I was, before I kind of took my little break, all these sets. Kind of a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping there would be an X and Y Evolutions pack in this. I think it's the other Dollar General tin that has one in there. But nonetheless, guys, we've got all kinds of different stuff in here. So we're just going to just grab from the top and just get going. So we're starting off with X and Y Ancient Origins, guys. So remember the saying, we got to pop, pop. Oh, God. Sometimes it, does, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, well, that one kind of just peeled open easy maybe they all do maybe that's what i need to do all right code card without the code one to the front i believe and here we go guys we got level ball magic heart and reg ice which even that i mean i'm pretty sure even getting a rare is you know not too bad with these packs because that's not even really guaranteed all right face collide i'm gonna see this this thing just opens up that easy yeah, they really do. It literally just peels open. All right, so maybe my, my whole little saying wasn't really working. All right, War Madame, whatever that means. Gothita, and, ooh. and a reverse hollow trainer power memory. There we go, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna move these packs a little bit, maybe right here, there we go. You don't cover up that Sylveon too much. All right, here we go. Man, I forgot, they just literally peel open. Man, I got so much trash around here, guys. It's pretty pretty crazy. All right, get that thing out of here. What if we could pull one of those? That'd be nice. All right, Claw Fossil, Anarath, Bergmite, and Toxicroak. Another rare, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, guys, X and Y Steam Siege. Boom. All right, here we go. I don't know if I just did the card trick right there. Mantine and Honorith. 
All right, guys, moving on to X and Y breakpoint. Guys, I'm really kind of looking out for these break cards just because um, I want to get my break collection back up. I used to have a lot of them. All right, this one required the trick, guys. The pop, flip, and pull. All right, get that thing out of here. What's the point of putting those in here? I don't really get that. All right, guys, we got Dunsparce, Froki, and another Reverse Hollow Trainer. Not too bad. I mean, so far, the Sylveon, Sylveon alone has gotten us, you know, in a good spot. Um, <clears throat> but, hey, I mean, what if we could pull another, you know? Boom, boom. Pokemon Catcher. Ratatat. Listen, guys, sometimes if you speak it, you speak it into existence. I wanted a break card, and the Pokemon gods themselves have blessed me. And not only did we get a break card, but we got Luxray break. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Wow. Look at that. Guys, okay. Okay. These dollar, these dollar packs are what's up. Honestly. We've gotten a Sylveon GX and a Luxray break. And look at all these hollows and reverse hollows we've gotten as well. It's not bad. I mean, considering, let's see, how much does all this cost? So the mini tin's $10. That little blister pack is $3. And then $4 for the four pack. So that's $17. Bucks. $17, bucks, I mean, for all of this is pretty good. That's why I like going to Dollar General and seeing what they have. First of all, you never know what they have. The blister packs are a little bit harder to find, I'm pretty sure. But the tins and then obviously the single packs are easy. All right, we got that interesting trainer, Reverse Valley. Shinx and another reverse hollow uncommon. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Put that right there. All right, guys. We are down to three packs. We've got our last pack of breakpoint, and then we have Sun and Moon team up. Woohoo! This is a good pulling, guys. I mean, cannot go wrong with these dollar packs. Plus, let's be honest, guys. Whether whether you're opening up a pack with with three cards, you're opening up a pack with 10 cards. Just opening the packs alone, in my opinion, is already kind of like that, at least 60% of the fun. So whether, no matter how many cards in there, opening the pack is fun and you can get a lot more packs for your buck, you know, with these Dollar General packs. All right, we got Mile, Phantom, and the Reverse Hollow Rare. There we go, guys, Raticate. Not bad, guys. We are, we are doing pretty good with these Dollar Packs. All right, guys, so now we've got our last two packs, our Sun and Moon team-ups. So maybe we could, I think, I could be wrong, but maybe this, is this where the tag team cards got big? I don't know. I really don't know. This is an error I wasn't too sure about, but I figure that's a pretty educated guess. So maybe we could pull one of those. All right. Boom. Ooh, look at that Charmeleon. Very nice. Charmeleon, Pucciana, and Nidoran. All right, guys, this is it. The final pack. Can we do it? Can we pull one last card from this pack? I think we can. And we got we got Venusaur on the back. I mean, what more could you ask? I mean, on the front, that's in the back. Come on, open up. All right, guys, here we go. Man, there is so much garbage here. I'm going to kind of move this to give you guys a little glance at it. Look at all of that. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to show you all this madness going on here. Man, they got to stop putting energies in these. Bronzor and Reverse Hollow Common. So, guys, overall, I am very happy with these pools. Sylveon GX and the Luxray Break, as, as well as uh, a Hollow Rare and some Reverse Hollow Rares. Of course, you got the promo card, Blissey. Um, overall, guys, I love these Dollar General products. I think I need, I really want to get out and try to find some more. I actually do have some that I'm thinking about keeping in my sealed collection. I have a Dragonite mini tin and another one of these Blissey tins. I think I'm going to keep it in my sealed collection. I'm not really sure if I'm going to open those up yet, but with how fun this one, with how fun this was, who's kidding out? Who am I kidding? I'm probably going to open it up. Um, as usual, guys, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that, get into that giveaway, guys. It's almost time. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out the video and. Yeah, guys, have a good one. Thank you so much for your support.